Now, in our previous video, we learned that Korean people really want to know how old people are because it helps them to establish a social hierarchy, which in turn helps them to know how they should speak to different people. But is age the most important factor in establishing the social hierarchy? Social, yes, but organizational, no. In organizations, it's not age that determines a person's position in the hierarchy, but their rank in that organization. And this difference creates a huge conflict in the Korean society. Let me explain what I mean by this. Let's say that I meet Jun through a friend in a bar. Jun is five years older than me, so I instantly recognize that I have to act in a certain way and talk to him in a certain way. And this is quite normal because he's older than me. However, let's say that a few weeks later, I find a new job as a manager at a company. And I find that Jun also works there, but I'm his supervisor. But as we had met before in a more social setting, particularly where Jun had seniority, this situation at the workplace is very uncomfortable for both of us. Now that example is a little easier to understand, but similar situations can occur in other settings. In Korea, university students' hierarchy is determined by hakbon. Hakbon is basically the year you started university. So if I started university in 2016, my hakbon would be 16, 16. And those who start the university before me are called sambe, and those who start the university after me are called hube. This concept of sambe and hube is really important in Korea, and it's extremely important that you act and speak respectfully to your sambe. So other than sambe and hube, those who start the university at the same time as me are all friends, regardless of our age difference. Now this can become a problem in so many different ways, but this situation is exacerbated by the fact that many high school students repeat their final year to get better exam results and ultimately to go to better universities. These students who repeat the final year are called Chesuseng. So when these Chesuseng start school, not only are they starting school with a bunch of students who are a year younger than them, there is a potential of their old friends being at the same university and being their sambe. So in this situation, Chesuseng's peers have to be respectful and use Chondenmal to their sambe. But what about the Chesuseng? Does he use Chondenmal to his old friends who are now his sambe? It's a very confusing situation, not just for the Chesuseng, but everyone else in that situation. Now you have to appreciate that Koreans do recognize that this is a problem in a Korean society, but there is no easy solution to this kind of situation, other than for those involved to use a bit of common sense. Let's look at one other situation where age conflicts with the organizational hierarchy, family. It's obviously very rare for a nephew or a niece to be older than the uncle, particularly nowadays. But there is one situation that does occur often in Korea. Let's say that I have a younger sister. She's three years younger than me, but she decides to marry someone who's six years older than her. Now doing simple math, he's three years older than me. But since he's marrying my younger sister, who is beneath me in the family tree, he now has to call me Hyungnim. Being the polite and respectful person that I am, I wouldn't make life difficult for him. But not everyone is like me, and there are times when such relations can become extremely stressful, particularly for the older person. So whilst age is the most important factor in determining the social hierarchy, when it comes to organizations, your rank is what matters. 